when I set up the festival eight years ago, I wanted to make sure that we had uh, a certain Scottish heritage involved as well. So every year we try to show uh, a couple of Scottish films and have some Scottish uh, lecturers around. Uh, and Mark has obviously done great things over the last couple of years. Um, and his last um, adventure cycling north to south through the Americas also involved him climbing uh, the highest peak in each continent. So uh, it made him really the perfect candidate to invite along this year. We try to do three things, and that's uh, entertain, enlighten, and inspire. So to expand on that, entertain, they're going to come along, they're going to have a great you know, night out, uh, watch some good films, they're going to make them laugh, cry, gasp, hopefully, and hear some uh, pretty amazing tales along the way. Uh, Enlighten, uh, I suppose, shows that the films are not all about extreme sports. A lot of them have got maybe an environmental aspect or a cultural aspect. Uh, so it's a good way of sort of putting that message across. Uh, and then finally, Inspire. It's a bit ironic that we celebrate the outdoors by being indoors, but my hope is that if they do that just one weekend a year, then it'll make them go away thinking, oh, what, what can I do next weekend? What can I do next year? And they can go off and have their own adventures. I, I started out in expeditions pretty young. I mean, I was 12 years old when I pedalled across Scotland, and then a few years later, I uh, did the solo ride from John Goat's Land's End. So I've grown up over the years pushing myself from bigger and bigger challenges. And there's always that fire in the belly to get back out and, you know, try something bigger the next time. Um, you know, if I was interested in racing, I'd probably try and be in the Tour de France or something similar. But for me, it's trying something different every time. When I, when I left university and decided to get into big expeditions, it was to take on big personal dreams and to make films about it. They were both as important. They were my two big aims. Because I'd been on all these journeys over the years. I knew the joy of seeing the world at bike speed. You know, what it's like to be in that mindset and, you know, seeing things under manpower and meeting people on your own terms. And um, I couldn't see any of that on screen. I couldn't see much of that on television. And I, I thought there was such an opportunity to share what that was like.